everybody. You know what time it is. This is How To Thursday with Mark Bruce at Fit Train Training Studio and Hoops Train Training. Today I'm going to talk about how to not squat or how to squat without knee pain. So I've had knee pain for quite some time. And over this last year, I've really been working on specific mobility, exercises, and squatting techniques to get rid of that knee pain. And I've finally been able to squat with some pretty decent load and not experiencing any knee pain. So what a lot of people think is after you squat, do a leg day, and your knee hurts, it's because the knee. Nine out of ten times, that's not the reason. Most likely, it's because you have poor ankle mobility and poor hip mobility. Now, I'm going to talk about that ankle mobility. With poor ankle mobility, you know, your knee is going to have to take over what the ankle should be doing to allow you to absorb, to bend properly, and also to, you know, push yourself up properly. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two five-pound plates in the ground, and you can also add ten pounds. Um, the worse your mobility is, the higher you may need to make it, and I'm going to step on it. Now, before I add any load, I'm just going to learn how to perform a proper body weight squat. Don't just step into the weight room, grab some weights, grab a bar, and start squatting. Make sure you can master body weight movements first. There's no need to rush, because the minute you get hurt, you're sidelined, you're not going to be happy, you're not going to achieve your fitness goals. So, I'm going to stack, I'm going to put my heels on the plate, I'm going to lift straight, I'm going to have my arms in, and now as I bend down, I like to say, show your groin, or show your crotch. So I'm going to go down, I'm going to pull my knees apart, keeping a big chest. Now when I reach good depth, I'm going to drive up, making sure I'm contracting the abdominal wall, diaphragmatic breathing, and I'm going to engage the glutes. So again, I'm going to inhale down, pull the knees apart, inhale, exhale. Once you can perform that 10 to 15, 20 times without problem, now you can start to add load. So I'm going to do a goblet squat first. So I'm going to take my dumbbell, I'm going to make sure I have two contact points. Contact point one is the sternum. Contact point two is the diaphragm. And I want to make sure the dumbbell is not hanging off. This is a good exercise because it can show you perform, performing it poorly. So if I squat down and that bottom of the dumbbell hangs and you drive up, well, you're not doing it right. You're really going to feel in your back. So I'm going to go down and make sure that this dumbbell stays on my diaphragm and sternum. And I'm going to drive up. Again, squeezing my glutes, bracing my abs. So inhale. Exhale, and you will really feel it in the quads and in the glutes. So that's your tip for today. If you have knee pain, take the proper measures to do the mobility exercises for your hip and your ankle, specifically your ankle. Um, the hip exercise, the hip video is coming, and make sure you're taking the proper measurements to get rid of that pain. There's no need to rush. There's no need to overdo it because, like I said, the minute you get hurt, you're sitting down. You're not achieving your goals. You're getting upset, and now you're going to have more things to deal with. So that's your tip. Stack your heels. Raise your heels when you do a goblet squat, and that will get rid of that knee pain. Leave comments, likes, subscribe. I'm here to make you better, here to get you stronger. This is Mark Bruce with Fit Strength Training Studio and Hoop Strength. Do the little things to make you better. I'm out.